It's a French word showing up in Paris shops around 1450. It was introduced in Mexico in 1946 and Boston, USA in 1985. That word is rotisserie and we're going to be using that method today. So meet me in the kitchen. made it to the kitchen. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, we're going to be using our rotisserie oven. Most people are familiar with rotisserie chicken, but did you know you can cook just about any meat, any fish, anything, even vegetables in a rotisserie? So today, we're going to be cooking our pork loin. It's going to be a complete meal in the rotisserie. It's going to be a pork loin with green beans and potatoes all cooked at once in our rotisserie. And if you want to learn how to make all kind of homemade food and dishes, easy, simple, made from scratch, take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell so you won't miss anything. And then just keep hanging around because I have a whole channel full of recipes that'll get you there. Let's get busy. Okay, going over our ingredients, and as usual, I'll have them in the description so you can make it in your kitchen too. We have our pork loin. Now, I've had it marinating for quite a few hours in the refrigerator. This marinade is a combination of honey and soy sauce with garlic and ginger. Mmm, mm, it smells delicious. So we're gonna just leave that there for now. We've got our green beans, they've been trimmed and washed. We're going to be adding some onions and potatoes in there. So I just wanna show you guys, I'm just gonna slice up a few onions and then cut them in half. Nothing fancy here, nothing fancy, or I should say quarter them. And we're just gonna spread them all over our tray. Now I have my tray from my um, rotisserie oven over here. It's lined with foil, so it'll be easy cleanup, no fuss, no muss. All we want to do with our tray is spray it with a little olive oil. Now, if you don't have a rotisserie oven at home, guess what, guys? You can do this in your oven. Same principle. You'll just use two shelves in your oven to cook this with. Or you can put your, because this is actually going to be panned drip potatoes. In other words, the pork loin drippings are going to drip down into the pan of potatoes and green beans. So if you're doing this in your oven, you want to set it up where your, your pork or your roast or your chicken or whatever it is, is actually on like a cooling rack or something on top of a tray with your potatoes and green beans underneath. So I'm going to go ahead, put our green beans on here. Set that aside. Go ahead, get our onions on here. Potatoes, just gonna cut those in some chunks, nothing fancy. So I'm gonna get these potatoes cut right quick and we'll be right back. Okay, so we have all of our green beans, onions and potatoes cut up. So now you just wanna go in with a few pats of butter just a simple pat of butter and put that over your potatoes. You're going to have the pan drippings, but you want that little butter because you know me, I think everything tastes better with butter. Everything. Yes. Okay. So that should do it. From there, we want to go in with a little seasoning on our potatoes and green beans. I am putting just a little bit of Himalayan salt on here. Of course, you season to taste. If you don't want salt on there, then leave the salt off. Okay? This is your dish, so you have to make it your own as well. Okay, we're going to set both of those aside. Sit our green beans and potatoes aside. And it's time for us to prepare our pork loin to go into the rotisserie. Now so any of your marinade that's in the bag, I like to reserve mine. I will heat it up um, really well and it'll only provide, once you heat it up and let it reduce uh, because it has been sitting on pork so you want to cook it in other words. Cook it then 
it's going to provide, you can either use it to baste your meat with, or you can use it in the end as like a little glaze over your meat when serving. I am removing these extra garlics that are in here and we're gonna go ahead and skewer our meat up. Now I'm gonna sit this aside. So this was not a piece that I needed to tie up. It's one solid piece. Otherwise you would wanna tie it. I have a nice fat cap on this side and that's gonna provide the juices for our green beans and potatoes. So now I'm just gonna put it on the actual rotisserie rod and I am using my Fika uh, rotisserie oven. I'll leave a link in the description uh, for you guys so that you'll see it in a minute. I absolutely love it. So I will link it as well. And I'm just pushing this in through the middle of the pork roast. Trying to make sure I get it in there in the middle, come out this end. Okay, that's pretty good. Doesn't have to be perfect. Make sure if you are using a rotisserie, your pointed ends fit all the way into the meat so that as it's rotating, it won't fall off. So I'm gonna just put this side in as well. Watch your fingers. And then with the little screw, just go ahead and tighten it on. Okay, we're gonna head on over to the Fika rotisserie oven and I'll meet you over there. Okay, so this is our Fika oven. We're going to put this tray in the bottom. Now this is hot because it has been preheating, but I'm gonna slide this in here on the bottom. And it actually does have a tool here to help you along with that. So you won't have to get your hands all in there and get touched. So. It also has one with the rotisserie, which on here like this and see if I can't put it in here without touching it. And voila, we are there. Okay. All right. We're going to close her up and we'll be back when it's done. Okay, we are almost done and it is looking amazing. Look how nice and brown it is. The potatoes are looking good. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys, we are all done. It's out of the rotisserie and I let it rest. And now we are going to take it off of the screwers. And there is the juices that ran through. What you want to do with those is Pour them over your potatoes and green beans. Yes, it's gonna be amazing. So I'm gonna sit this right here. Then we're gonna plate this up. Mm -mm. Mm. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Oh my goodness, it tastes wonderful. So now we wanna flip this over because I have to unscrew it from one end so that I can pull this out. Okay, look how nice, before I pull this off of here, look how nice and golden brown that is. Doesn't that look amazing? Mm -mm. Oh, just pull it right on out. Okay, set this aside. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Now I'm just gonna plate this with the green beans and potatoes right along the side. Let me give her a, a larger spoon, I'll be right back. Okay, if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. If you are returning, thank you so much. Again, don't forget to subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you won't miss anything. Oh my goodness, this is smelling amazing, amazing, amazing. Yes, delicious, delicious, delicious. Don't forget to go over to my website, Cooking at Pam's Place, and sign up. Get on that email list for monthly exclusive recipes as well as email notifications. Every time I drop a video, you know.
you know what happens when you waste something. You have to eat it. This is amazingly delicious. Mmm. You can taste the honey and the soy and the ginger. Oh my goodness. The flavors are just divine. Okay. I'm going to finish plating this up and I will see you next time. The good Lord will it and the creek don't rise. Mmm. -mm. Delicious.